Yo, what's going on, guys? We are back. What up, boys? Today is gonna be a good one. We got, it seems like it's going to be the Thanksgiving reveal stream this morning. So very eager to see what that is going to be. I like that it's already coming out. That means that we're gonna get at least like two, maybe like two and a half, almost three weeks of a Thanksgiving promo. I hope it's loaded with, I, I guess, multiple parts. I would, I, I'd like two parts, I guess. Some stuff now, some stuff next week. Give us house rules. Give us a lot of stuff to do. Hopefully, we got a currency. Hopefully, there's all kinds of cool stuff. We will check out all that stuff this morning on the EA stream. Plus, we have two new limiteds today. Of course, it's Thursday. We know one is going to be Nick Bosa. The other one looks like it's going to be a Panther. I'm not 100% sure, but that's what it looks like in the blurred vision. We're going to check out all that. I'm ready, boys. Locked in. We're going to start building the hype. Thanksgiving promos, limiteds. I'm ready to see everything, boys. Let's get it. New limiteds are live, and Robbie Anderson looks like he is a fire. 94 overall with 94 speed. Before you even boost him, power him up, or do anything with this card if you have a full 50 50 panthers theme team and power him up he will be 99 speed for this robbie anderson there's also going to be a limited nick bosa that we are going to try and pull today also two good limiteds in packs but the big thing that everyone is going to be talking about today is going to be the harvest promo and we are live on Twitch right now, and I want my chat to come alive, please. Everyone in the chat, uh, there's like 700 people in here right now. If you guys could come alive for me and help me out here with the YouTube video. For everyone watching this on YouTube, can you please type in your dubs or L's into the chat? Your first initial impression into the Harvest promo. What do you guys think? dub or l please let me know your initial thoughts of everything as we were going through it it definitely seemed like there were a lot of l's going through the promo i would probably say as part one of this promo it's definitely not as hype as like part two or part i i think part two of most feared which was super crazy randy moss lawrence taylor all these good cards that we got i'm hoping that part two is obviously a little bit more name hype than part one of the harvest promo but there seems to be a lot of good stuff good cards they have the thanksgiving day cards which i like that give you those good cards that could get boosted we'll show you those in a second they had some 92 overalls they had some 94 overalls there's house rules there's free cards there's all kinds of different stuff so i feel like the base of it is good the names and the list of the cards that we that they revealed already are just kind of lackluster. Kirk Cousins and some of these other things I'm going to show you here in a second. Just not the greatest names, which is probably kind of bringing the L's in a little bit more just because no big, big name. Like, th 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 there was no marquee Hall of Famer or something like that that people want. No Deion Sanders or anything like that. Yet, yeah. doesn't mean that he's not coming for a part too. As always, it looks like uh, Mutinality tweeted out everything here. So let's go to his uh, media. Um, it does look like the high card of part one of the promo is going to be a 94 overall Chase Young. This card does look good. Not a huge, 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 big like Madden name, but I still feel like Chase Young is up there in the A list of players and names that people would want. Probably going to be a very, very good card. I feel like this 94 is a dub there the next thing are going to be 292 these are going to be turkey day cards really big dub about the turkey day cards this year is you have two ways to earn them as far as i understood 100 stars and solos will get you the free n cat or nat 92 overall nadamican sue which gets any nfc team any nfc team not just the bucks or the lions right but you would be able to put him on any NFC team so I can put him in my Giants theme team if I wanted to. AFC team Turkey Bowl card, once again, either with 100 stars and solos or 24 house rules wins. 25 house rules wins will get you the Emmanuel Sanders, which is the second of the two 
turkey bowl or turkey day cards or whatever you want to call these guys emmanuel sanders will get all afc teams on there okay you guys getting Emmanuel Sanders or the Dominican Sue? Which one are you guys going with out of those two? Let me know. Other 92s, there was a good amount of 92. Emmanuel Agba, nailed it, uh, is going to be one of them. The big one that most people are going to be very iffy about right here is going to be the field general quarterback, Kirk Cousins, who will get hot route master before you even power him up. So, I don't know. Not going to get Gunslinger along with that with only the 90 throw power. But it's going to be very, very interesting to see how he throws, what his animation like, and how he plays. Kirk Cousins definitely could be viable in some theme teams. We're going to have to see how he plays. We got a Kenny Moore at a 92. We got a Frank Ragnarok at a 92. Zadarius Smith at a 92 with 84 speed. Allen Robinson with 89 speed, which are just going to be your basic 92s that you would need to put into your champion or master set to get the Chase Young. We have not seen any sets or anything like that yet. Turkey Day cards. So these are actually the Thanksgiving Day games that are really being played IRL in the NFL. The last few years, I think almost for a while, we've been getting these type of cards. Basically where there are one set of overalls and then they get a plus one to everything based on how many objectives they complete. You have the ability of getting plus two if they complete both objectives that it says on the card on Thanksgiving Day while they play that day. Uh, we got a Edmonds. We got a Malcolm Jenkins. And we got a Dak Prescott, which is going to be the big one. Dak Prescott, one touchdown turns to a 92 and then 400 yards will turn to a 93. Now, the car does not have a power-up logo on it right now because it hasn't been boosted or completed yet. Once this card finalizes at a 91, 92, or 93 overall based on whatever stats he gets on Thanksgiving, then more than likely he will get the power-up ability to be able to power put him in the power-up path. You won't be able to do that until after Thanksgiving and then after they set the card, okay? There were three more of those Thanksgiving cards that you can get. Hunter Renfro is another 91 with a possible plus two, and he needs 50 receiving yards and two touchdowns. TJ Hawkinson needs three catches, three catches, a three catch, three passes. I guess there's three catches and catch two touchdowns to get another one. Jeez, seems excessive. And Eddie Jackson would be the fifth one that we have here too. Bears allow less than 350 yards and then get an interception. Out of the five guys, Eddie Jackson, TJ Hawkinson, Hunter Renfro, Dak, and Malcolm Jenkins. I'm sorry, and Edmonds. Is that one, two, three, four, five, six guys? Out of the six guys, who do you think has the best chance of completing both tasks? I feel like each one of these cards has a pretty simple task one. Task two is going to be what's the harder one. Who do you think has the best chance of completing both tasks? Let me know. The rest of the Thanksgiving promo stuff is basically just going to be the overall, the lower overalls for 90s. Nothing crazy. Wentworth, DJ Chark, Young Ho, and Quincy Williams. Uh, then they go down to some 88s and then just some lower overalls. Also, once again, this is part one. We will see part two more than likely next Friday. All this stuff will be live tomorrow. They haven't said anything about limiteds. More than likely, there will still be limiteds. They didn't say anything else about solos or um, I didn't see anything about a uh, currency or any of that kind of stuff. They did mention house rules that's about it so we'll see what else is coming tomorrow once everything is live now this is always the big thing there's two good limiteds in packs right now one of them is basically the fastest card in the game if you have a panthers theme team with a 99 speed robbie anderson but the problem is we're getting the most feared promo tomorrow with more limiteds dropping tomorrow so they're gonna try to take my madden points from me today but yet then they're gonna want all my points tomorrow so it's a tough decision right now of what to rip and what to do. Um, I don't have any elite coin packs. I don't have any legend coin packs. 
I don't have any game changer coin packs. All I have is these trash clutch coin packs left. And I really don't want to rip those. And I really don't want to rip those. I feel like they, they, they are taunting me and teasing me with these limiteds today. The thing that you need to realize is that these limiteds will still be in packs tomorrow. So the move really is going to be if you really want to rip some packs today, maybe rip some coin packs like I'm probably going to do and then rip your bundles tomorrow. Because even if you really want like a Robbie Anderson, you're still going to have a chance at your limited tomorrow and have your chance to get the promo bundles. I'm very interested to see what they do with rolls or currency. I thought it was very interesting that we did not get a currency for most feared, especially since most feared is one of the the major promos, right? Of Madden Ultimate Team. Um, and usually the major ones usually have some type of currency in there. But do we think because the currency maybe messed up the market so bad last year that I wonder if they're going to stay away from those extra promo currencies as much this year as last year? Totally deleted the currencies and trophies this year and messed up uh, the seasons bad. I mean, we definitely need season two. We got an update today. They actually acknowledged the update of season two today, which is great. It was great that they actually cl clarified that they have no clue. We were guessing that they had no clue about season two, but it was very, very nice of EA to admit and announce to us that they have no clue when season two is coming, but they will give us a warning of when they actually get a time to plan out season two. Season two in January? I feel like it's gotta be, right? <sighs> like, it's gotta be soon but not too soon, right? Because they got to give us a week in advance and they're not going to drop it during Thanksgiving or the week in advance. And they're gone for the month of December. So maybe we get it sometime in January, which would actually be pretty good because normally January is actually really slow for Madden Ultimate Team once Zero Chill stops. And then they get back in the office because they're usually gone out of the office for a few weeks. So if they're maybe planning... Uh, season two to be maybe during that downtime a little bit when it slows down after zero chill would probably be a good idea. You guys think about that thought. I, I, we we definitely need some higher pyro passes, 100%. My right, pro fantasy packs have not been that great so far this morning. 81, 86. Look at this round, literally an all base silver round, bro. So fire so fire i mean like i said like i said robbie anderson and these limiteds would be great cards to, to pull right now especially to sell and get that coin stack up but with a promo coming tomorrow pace yourself if you want to get on want to play the game a little bit maybe rip some gold packs sell the cards that you don't want or need get your coins or your training back but I probably would take it easy on the packs today, boys. And just hold until tomorrow. Because these limiteds will still be in packs tomorrow. I'm hoping we get some nice legends. With the Thanksgiving promo guys not being like huge names through in part one. Maybe we get some good names on Saturday too, boys. I think in the next few days are going to be pretty good. Promo time is turning up. I'm ready. Let me know what everyone thinks down in the comments.